Hello, everyone. Grayson Geiler here with SES Services, coming to you with our weekly market update. We like to get topics that are out there in the financial press, uh, go into a little bit of depth on a weekly market update. And today, what we'd like to talk about is some of the some of the volatility, but actually some of the good and some of the bad. Okay, so if you're paying attention to the news out there, especially the financial news, you're aware the news du jour can take the market up a couple of percent in one day, take it down a couple of a percent in one day. We got we got some economic news that maybe the Federal Reserve wouldn't have to raise rates so quickly, could pause, could ease off the market rockets. Uh, Jay Powell comes out and talks about, well, we probably won't be backing off anytime soon and the market comes apart. Um, so there's a, you, you add on there all the the volatile news, uh, news coming out of Russia, Ukraine. Uh, we've got an election coming up. Uh, some people wondering if if some of the control of Congress and Senate is going to change hands or not. Maybe had could have some some big implications on the financial markets. So it's been pretty wild. One of the things uh, that's that's not intuitive about that with some crazy um, news going on out there, is when you take a look at the VIX, the VIX is a measure of volatility from the perspective of how many people are buying put options or buying insurance uh, to guard against the value of their portfolio going way down. And as you can see, just in the last few weeks, I uh, got almost a month there, the VIX has given up a lot of ground. Uh, so with all the nervous news, all the volatility in markets, you would think that the VIX would be going a lot higher. Um, and it's not. So kind of like we talked about, oh, a little over a year ago when the Federal Reserve started pouring so much um, money, free credit, free money onto the financial markets, well, if that's not going to undo the value of the U.S. dollar, what will? Um, so it was it was an odd time looking at the markets. And when you look at the crazy news out there, the financial news out there, you're thinking uh, along the same sort of lines. If this isn't going to cause the market to really come apart, what would? Um, you know, on the on the good side of things, past just intuitively, hey, the market is showing a lot more strength than you may expect. Uh, some empirical evidence, you go through um, lots of hedge funds are short this market right now. And, and a lot of mutual funds have smaller stock exposure than historically they have. So what does that say? Well, that's just empirical evidence. There's been more selling than buying on uh, from a, from a normal perspective. Well, maybe we're going to see some more buying coming in. A lot of the corporate buybacks have started back up. So you've got corporations buying their own stock back. Uh, that's on the tune of three or four billion dollars a day is spent doing that, and that's expected to go even a little higher to four or five billion dollars a day. So that's uh, some more bullish information out there. Of course, you know, some of the bearish information, I don't even have to tell you. Everyone knows the Federal Reserve is raising rates and they're doing it aggressively. Well, that's bearish. Everybody knows there's a, there's a war going on that could escalate into something pretty nasty. Of course, that would be bad. Low probability of that happening, of course, but that there, that would, tend to keep some nervousness in the market that maybe is actually starting to come out. Uh, some other of the bad stuff, though, we've talked repeatedly, and even in our uh, weekly videos, the employment side of the American economy, especially, uh, has been remarkably strong. It really has. And the Federal Reserve has been focusing on that, even though it tends to be a lagging indicator. The Federal Reserve has been focusing on that um, and justifying their aggressive rate increases, uh, not solely because of the employment situation, but that's a big part of it. Um, we still have record low unemployment. 
Um, some of that is starting to change. So from the negative side, you're starting to see some of the big tech companies whose stock price has given up a lot of ground in a lot of different techs. They're starting to talk about some layoffs. Obviously, Twitter is a high profile, big layoff situation, uh, but it's, it's, it's not just Twitter. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be saying this if it were just Twitter. So that's something uh, to keep an eye on in the coming weeks. What what does happen if the unemployment rate starts ticking higher? Does the Federal Reserve start to think about uh, cooling off their aggressive uh, rate increases a little bit? Now, we did talk uh, a couple weeks ago about the Federal Reserve doing some bailing out uh, to Europe. Uh, specifically, it looks like Credit Suisse got some help from the Federal Reserve. Interestingly, the Federal Reserve um, may be putting a new mechanism together to do some one-off support of some places where higher interest rates are simply causing forest fires. The Federal Reserve may be preparing to do more of that, but interestingly, none of the big European banks, European Union banks, Credit Suisse, of course, is a is a big European bank, but the European Union banks don't seem to be making this list. If you're reading the tea leaves, maybe the Federal Reserve and the European bankers are, are going at it a little bit. Maybe, um, maybe uh, Chairman Powell here is defending the value of the US dollar uh, and might be a little more willing to sacrifice uh, the economy to make sure that the US dollar holds together. You know, the, the, that's speculation. At the at the end of the day, we know uh, rates are are very strong and uh, likely going higher. Uh, we'll see for the next couple of months. But you know, the way the stock market closed in September, things were so bad, and there was so ne much negativity out there, and a lot of that pressure has really come off. I'm not saying run in there and and add to uh, your stock portfolio. If you're a speculative person, maybe you could do that. But uh, for the most part, we're just saying uh, some of the negativity out there in the marketplace is overdone. And uh, for now, the pressure is coming off. So that's good news. Um, of course, we are here if you need some individual help. Uh, we offer our time for a no obligation consultation with regard to your specific information, reach out to us. Hope you enjoyed this content. Uh, click like, click subscribe, share this information with others if you get the opportunity and hope to see you back here next week. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.